Quantum gravity detected. They're afraid. No. Nothing that interferes with memory formation. itself. Morgan, I've been wondering if it might be bothering you that you planned your own death. It's a lot to swallow. My advice would be, try not to think about the end. Focus on what's in front of you, one step at a time. I'm here if you need help. Hey, uh, Jessica, got a minute? It's my day off. Yeah, but can you run me through the container docking procedure again? I I missed the training session. Ugh, Grant. Please, if I ask Gus again, he'll lose his mind. Are you at the crate docking control station? Yes. First, enter the handling number on the container you want to dock. Uh, um, where do I get the number? Look at the container, Grant. It's stenciled on the outside. Once you enter the number, you should see some options pop up. Select... Opens the container? Yes. But both ends can never be open at the same time. That way, the interior loading zone stays pressurized even when the cargo bay doors are open. Okay, I think I got it. Thanks, Jess. Jess? Hey, you there? Okay, bye. Oh, at last. I thought that crate would be my coffee. Even the stale air of Talos laced with a faint hint of nicotine and antibacterials. Oh, he 
is like spring. You are my thanks, Dr. Yu. But I thought... Well, you're no longer running the memory hamster wheel, I see. I hope you're coming in after me. Would be good to see a familiar face. I'm transmitting the code to the crate I was in. I found Dr. Igwe. He worked in the simulation lab and in psychotronics. He might be helpful, but he's unlikely to approve of your mission, despite everything he's suffered. Though I will note, he's always admired you and Alex quite a bit. 